Reuters 11 companies have pulled their ads after Miss Ingram's mocking comments 11 companies have pulled their ads so far after Parkland student David Hogg, 17, slammed her for the mocking comments and called for a boycott of her advertisers. A Fox News Channel spokeswoman said Miss Ingram was taking a pre-planned spring holiday with her children. Mr. Hogg blasted the host's show, The Ingram Ingle, after she taunted him on Twitter on Wednesday accusing him of whining about being turned down by four colleges he had applied to. Miss Ingram tweeted on Wednesday, David Hogg rejected by four colleges to which he applied and whines about it. It's time to love thine neighbor, not mudsling at children David Hogg Mr. Hogg is a survivor of the February 14th mass shooting that claimed the lives of 17 people at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in the Parkland suburb of Fort Lauderdale He has become the face of a new youth-led movement calling for stricter restrictions on firearms, along with other classmates. Ingram issued an apology on Twitter on Thursday, in the spirit of Holy Week saying she was sorry for any upset or hurt she had caused Mr. Hogg or any of the other brave victims of the Parkland shooting. She wrote, any student should be proud of a 4.2 GPA. But her apology didn't deter companies from dropping their ads on Miss Ingram's show. Getty Miss Ingram mocked the Parkland shooting survivor after he was rejected from four colleges the companies which have announced that they are canceling their ads include Nutrish, the pet food line created by celebrity chef Rachel Ray, Travel website TripAdvisor Incorporated, Home Furnishings Seller Wafer Incorporated, the world's largest packaged food company, Nestle Sa, Inc. Service Hulu, Travel website Expedium Group Incorporated, and personal shopping service Stitch Fix. According to CBS News, four other companies joined the growing list on Friday, two days after the mocking comments. These were the Home Office Supply Store Office Depot, the Ting Company Jenny Craig, the Atlantis. Paradise Island Resort and Johnson & Johnson which produces pharmaceuticals as well as consumer products such as Band-Aids, Neutrogena Beauty Products and Chilinol. Mr. Hogg tweeted that her apology was insufficient and was just aimed at mollifying her advertisers. He wrote that he would only accept her apology if she denounced the way Fox News had treated his friends. Getty companies including Nutrish, TripAdvisor Inc. and Wayfair have pulled their ads. Mr. Hogg tweeted, It's time to love thine neighbor, not mudsling at children. I think it's great that corporate America is standing with me and the rest of my friends. I think it's important that we come together as both corporate and civic America to take action against these people and show them that they cannot push us around, especially when all we're trying to do here is save lives. And when people try to distract like Laura's trying to do from what the real issue is, which is gun violence in America, it's not only sad, it's just wrong. From a journalistic standpoint, I'd say she needs to be more objective and needs to stand down because I'm not the issue here. The issue needs to be gun violence in America. She's trying to distract from that and I hate it. Miss Ingram's show runs on Fox News, part of Rupert Murdoch's 21st Century Fox Incorporated.